In this video, the task is to wire three light bulbs in a parallel circuit controlled by a switch. The purpose of this video is to show how each light bulb receives its own power, why when one light bulb goes out, the other bulbs stay lit, how electricity flows, and what the purpose of a switch is. If you wire this correctly, the lights will all turn on, all will have the same brightness, and when one bulb is taken out, the rest remain lit. This also shows the four necessities to make an electrical circuit, a switch, a power source, a conductor, and a load. For this task, we will need one of our training boards. These boards contain a power source, that's our hot and neutral, a switch, that's what we use to control the lights. Three light bulbs in sockets. This is the load. A load is something that does work. We're using 60 watt bulbs in this instance. And our conductor, which is our wire leads. First thing you want to make sure, our board is unplugged. Not plugged in. We want to make sure that our switches are off. We don't want the risk of electric shock uh, when we're wiring into these boards. When we use our wire leads, we only want to hold the wire lead by the plastic end. Never touch the metal ends in case something is electrified there, uh, just to be safe. We always want to hold them by the plastic. Once everything is wired, be careful of the light bulbs as they will get hot very quickly. All right, step one. We're going to pick up a wire lead by the plastic end with the metal tip and put it in the 120 volt or L1 black port. From there, we will grab the opposite end of the wire lead and we need to go to the top of our switch. So we're gonna put it in the black port at the top of the switch. Now that switch is like a drawbridge. Nothing will get through there unless that drawbridge is closed, okay? So we'll come out of the bottom of our switch. Now we need to take the opposite end, go over to the three 60 watt light bulbs, starting with the top, we will put it in the power 120 volt side of our light bulb okay so we went from black to black to black now all of our wires are made that they can be plugged into each other that means i can take this wire and plug it into this wire lead and install it into the middle light bulb on the power side and i can take Another wire lead, plug it into that middle socket and plug it into the bottom. So what we're doing is we're kind of chaining these all together. So this is our hot 120 volt side. Okay. Every time we have a hot, we need to have a neutral. So we're gonna come back over to our power strip here. We have our neutral side and we are going to take and plug in that wire. And now we're gonna to go to the neutral side of our light bulb, or that white port opposite of the black one. Again, we're going to plug in a wire into that wire, plug it into the second light bulb. And we're going to take another wire and plug it into our bottom light bulb. So all of our wires on this side are chained together. Okay. Now I can take my power cord, plug it in. I still have my switches off at this point. I'm gonna turn on my first switch. We do have a GFI here for safety. If anything was wired wrong, uh, that GFI will trip and will cut power to the board. Now, picture this as the light switch on your wall in your kitchen okay we're going to turn on that light switch all of our bulbs light up if i unscrew one bulb that is the only bulb that goes out why is that because 
even though we only have one switch controlling all three bulbs, each bulb has its own power source. So if you've done this correctly, all the bulbs will light up. If you unscrew one bulb, the other bulbs remain lit and everything is controlled by a switch. And that is how you wire three light bulbs in a parallel circuit controlled by a switch.